Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Do it now! Have you ever thought about how much you think about thinking? <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Alicia. Welcome to Know Your Verbs. In this episode, we're going to talk about the verb think. So let's get started. The basic definition of think is to have in the mind. So something you can keep in your mind, like an idea or an image, something you keep in your head, something in your mind, something in your brain. So to keep in the mind is think, to think. This is the basic definition of think. So let's look at the conjugations of the verb think. Present tense, think, thinks. Past tense, thought. Past participle, thought. Progressive or continuous tense, thinking. Think, thinks. Thought, thought, thinking. Okay, let's look at some additional meanings of the verb think. First is to consider or to reflect on or to ponder. It means consider something carefully or spend time considering something. So ponder means to think for a long time or to think hard about something. Um, so consider carefully, reflect on. Examples. Can I have a day to think about this? He's thinking about what to do next. So in these example sentences, can I have a day to think about this? Taking one day to reflect on something, like before you make a decision, is a pretty common thing to do before like a big decision. So can I have a day to think about this? Means can I have a day to consider this carefully? Or can I have a day to ponder this? In the second example sentence, he's thinking about what to do next means he's considering carefully his next step. He's considering carefully what he should do next. So thinking is used in the progressive tense here to show that he is currently, at this time, considering something carefully. But to consider carefully, we can make shorter and use the verb thinking. He's thinking about what to do next. Okay, next is to create something by thinking or to create something by considering. We usually use this with the word up after the verb think. We thought up so many crazy party ideas in college. She thought up a plan for product promotion. So both of these example sentences mean to create something by considering it in your mind. So in the first example sentence, we thought up crazy ideas for parties in college, means we designed something using our brains. We considered something and created an idea. We created something by thinking. So to think up, blah, blah, blah. So we thought up crazy party ideas. So we designed crazy party ideas by thinking about them by considering things in our minds. In the second example sentence, we see the same meaning but for a business situation. She thought up a plan for product promotion. So in this case, past tense, she thought up, she designed a plan for product promotion. But when we say designed, um, it sounds maybe like she planned something on a computer, perhaps. When we use she thought up, it means she used her mind. She considered the ideas she had and created a plan in her mind for promotion of the product. So thought up uses the mind to create something. Next is to have as an expectation. To have as an expectation, to expect something. I didn't think you'd arrive so quickly. We thought it would take a lot longer to finish dinner. So in the first example sentence, we didn't think you'd arrive so quickly. It means the speaker expects that the listener would take longer to arrive, or the listener was going to arrive later than they actually did. So the speaker, the speaker in this case, had the expectation that the listener was going to arrive later. So they used the negative, we didn't think you'd arrive so quickly. So we didn't think, we didn't expect you to arrive so quickly. We can replace the verb think with expect here, um, and it creates the same meaning, the same nuance, really. But think sounds a little bit less formal than expect. So we didn't think you'd arrive so quickly. 
The second example sentence is, we thought it would take a lot longer to finish dinner. Again, we expected, we had the expectation it would take a lot longer to finish dinner. We can replace the verb thought, past tense, with the past tense expected. We expected it would take a lot longer to finish dinner. So in this way, think, or in past tense, thought, uh, is used in exactly the same way as expected here. The next meaning is to consider suitability, to consider suitability. Let's look at some examples. I've never thought of him like a manager. We're thinking of her for a higher position. So in the first sentence, I've never thought of him like a manager. In this way, thought means I've never uh, understood him to be suitable for the position of manager. That's a very long way of explaining this sentence. But to condense everything, we use the word thought. I've never thought of him as a manager. It means I've never considered him to potentially be suitable as a manager. In the second example sentence, we're thinking of her for a higher position. It means we're considering whether or not she is suitable for a higher position at her job or a higher position at her company. So in this way, thinking in the progressive tense means we are considering her suitability for a position, a higher level position. So you'll notice that the two example sentences included here are related to work. You'll see though that this, this meaning tends to be used a lot with uh, jobs and maybe political positions. So kind of something um, maybe promotion related. So promotion related or kind of hierarchy related. You'll often hear this in work situations, employment situations. Let's look at some variations, some other words we can attach to think to create different meanings. First is think better of, think better of. Think better of means to reconsider and make a better decision or make an improved decision. It means to consider something again and change your decision, hopefully to make a, an improved decision. Examples. I wanted to say something, but I thought better of it and kept my mouth shut. We'll think better of you if you tell the truth. So in both of these sentences, there's a reconsideration. Someone is considering something again and making an improved decision because of that reconsideration. So in the first example sentence, I wanted to say something. We see in past tense, I wanted to say something, but I thought better of it. So it, in this case, is the thing I wanted to say in the first part of the sentence. I thought better of it means I reconsidered it and decided against my, my first inclination. I decided not to do the first thing I was thinking about. And I kept my mouth shut. So in this case, uh, my mouth remained closed, in other words. I reconsidered my initial action, the action I initially wanted to do. In the second sentence, we'll think better of you if you tell the truth. We see it's, it's used uh, for future. We will think better of you if you tell the truth. Meaning, if you tell the truth, our opinion of you will improve. We will think better of you. Um, so tell the truth and we'll consider you again, essentially. And our opinion of you will improve if you do this. The next variation is think much of, think much of. This means to have a positive view of or to approve of. Examples. He doesn't think much of his professor. We didn't think much of last night's dinner. We see in the first example sentence, um, he didn't think much of his professor means he didn't really approve of his professor or he didn't have a very positive view of his professor. So uh, a shorter way to explain that feeling is he didn't think much of his professor. In the second example sentence, we didn't think much of last night's dinner. This means, again, we didn't really approve of last night's dinner or we don't have a very positive view or a very positive opinion of last night's dinner. These are rather long, so we can condense it to we didn't think much of last night's dinner. So I hope that this video helped you level up your knowledge of how to use the verb think. If you have any questions or comments or if you know another way to use the word think, please let us know in the comment section below the video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and check us out at EnglishClass101.com for other good things too. Thanks very much for watching this episode of Know Your Verbs, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Oh, I think that your thought about my thought is a thinking thought. What?
my name is on the show <laughs> for this episode. <laughs> First is... <laughs> 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 I'm thinking about summer. Uh, ah!